this is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Inventor down the rabbit hole network. Bring in a update to you guys about solar roadways. Whatever happened with solar roadways? This is an article from SpokaneJournal.com. Okay, so whatever happened with solar roadways? North Idaho company planning to introduce new model of panels. February 24, 2022. So a fairly recent story by Mike McLean. Okay, so Scott Brusaw, who started Solar Roadways with his wife, Julie, test some of the company's panels that are on display in downtown Sandpoint. Solar Roadways Inc., a Sandpoint, Idaho-based developer of solar-powered generating road panels, is working on a new prototype and is in con contract negotiations with a potential manufacturing partner, says Julie Brusaw, company co-founder. Brusaw and her husband Scott launched the company in 2006 and have been working on the concept of incorporating solar panels in roadways, sidewalks, and driveways since then. The journal last wrote about the company in mid-2019. Solar Roadways has a working pilot project covering 150 square feet of public space in a town square in Sandpoint, which is providing real road testing, Brusaw says. It's been handling North Idaho snow and wear and tear from pedestrians, bikes, skateboarders very well, she says. She asserts. The pilot project's SR4 model hexagonal panels, which have a surface area of about four square feet each, include LED lights, heating elements, and microprocessors that enable the panels to communicate with each other and a central control station. The surface of each panel is made of tempered glass, which is laminated to layers consisting of the circuit board LED lights and solar cells. The surface glass also contains recycled glass fragments, which are baked, which are baked into it to provide traction. Bruce Haw says her husband has been working on a new SR5 model with a focus on ease of manufacturing. So that's intelligent. They're trying to make them, you know, they're trying to roll these off the, like Ford, you know, they're trying to roll these off the conveyor belt much more easier. Um, the SR5 panels will produce 48 watts of electricity and will be the same size the SR5 panels will produce 48 watts of electricity and be the same size as the SR4 panels in a Sandpoint pilot project. We haven't yet announced the changes we are making, Brusaw says. Of the SR5 panels, we will always upgrade to more efficient solar panels as the industry, as the industry grows and better cells become economically feasible. Another project pilot that had been scheduled to be installed in 2019 in Baltimore's Inner Harbor Commercial and Recreation District hasn't started yet, Brusaw says. We accepted that one some time back and they are waiting on SR5 panels. Solar Roadways currently has three employees down from five. We have decided to focus more on contracting some of the work to be done rather than hiring employees, Bruce Haw says. For example, we are working with a software development company that is taking care of our software needs. Bruce Haw says the company is in contract negotiations with a potential manufacturing partner that will visit Solar Roadways in Sandpoint next month. Although, the, although she declines to disclose the identity of the manufacturer, Scott Bruce Haw, who holds a master's degree in electrical engineering 
is the company's president and CEO, Julie Brusaw, who has a master's in counseling psychology, came up with the original inspiration behind the solar roadways concept when the couple were contemplating adding solar panels on their roof and she mentioned it would make more sense to have solar panels on the ground or the driveway for ease of access. So it seems like she turned on the light bulb in her husband's mind or maybe they turned on each other's light bulb, right? Since then, they've there've been they've been working since then they've been working to create material strong enough to protect electronics while withstanding the streets of vehicles and pedestrian traffic. In another recent development, Solar Roadways received initial approval last month from the U.S. Federal Communications Commission and Canadian Regulatory and Economic Development Agency Innovation, Science and Economic Development Canada for the ratio for the radio frequency system. The panels used to communicate with each other, says Brusaw. The company also is seeking certification from global safety testing company UL LLC. The regulatory steps with FCC and the Canadian agency was funded through crowdfunding source. So far, the company has raised a total of $6.5 million in capital, including $2.2 from crowdfunding sources, 2.5 million from the in investors and 1.8 million from grants. The company hasn't begun accepting deposits from customers, although it's maintaining a growing waiting list of potential customers who want to be notified when the panels are commercially available. Bruce says the company is blessed with an interesting problem, she claims. Okay, so that's the end of the article. Once again, the article is from SpokaneJournal.com. Hope you and guys, hope you guys and gals enjoyed the update. Whatever happened to Solar Roadways? They're still in development. Seems like they're doing a great job of advancing the technology, making it easier to manufacture, as the article said, which should make it much more easier to pump it out. More product and more money for them, which they deserve. They've been working hard at this for years. Inventor down the rabbit hole network, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, have a great month, year. I'm out.